Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs? Grow420 Guide here and welcome back to Season 6 Continued. Technically Day 25 of our Grow Vlog. But we are going to exclude this part from a Grow Vlog. This is going to be more like a how-to tutorial on how to eliminate fungus gnats. Now we are going to be using two techniques today. We are going to be using a mechanical technique versus a biological technique. Now this is going to be our mechanical technique, just yellow sticky fly traps. Um, we will be getting to these things in a second though. We are going to, whoops, we're going to start off with talking about our microbe lift. Now microbe lift is going to be your biological technique or function on how to eliminate fungus gnats. Now this stuff was picked up in my local hydroponic store. I forget how much, but it comes in this little container here. And it's for treating basically mosquitoes and mosquito larvae and eliminating it and controlling it. Um, so we're gonna start off today by diluting six drops of this per gallon of water. Um, now this stuff is able to be used um, through all systems. If you're in a hydroponic system, do not use in conjunction with anything that kills living biologicals because it will eliminate you using this. It will just outright kill it and it won't have any effect on eliminating your fungus gnats. Um, it takes up to two weeks and you will barely see any fungus gnats come that two weeks. Um, you are going to want to take a precautionary step and after that two weeks, you're going to want to use this every time you're watering. Um, two drops per gallon all the time. It won't affect pH and it's compatible with all nutrients. So we're gonna be using this on regular water today, which we have right down here. Uh, we're gonna be dropping six drops into this crystal geyser water. PPMs are 48. pH is fluctuating in between 6.8 and 7.0. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. Puncture this top here. No, my droplet doesn't reach. Okay, so the active ingredients within this stuff, actually let me, let me gently shake this up. You don't wanna viciously shake this stuff because it is living biology in here. Okay, so we're gonna and get some of this. The active ingredients are Bacillus thuringiensis subspecies, um, Israelianesis, I don't even know how to pronounce that, solid spores, and insecticidal toxins. Other ingredients, 92.0. Um, the Bacillus thuringiensis is 8%. Go ahead and take six drops into our gallon of water here. No, one, two, there is only two in that droplet. Three, four, five, and six. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It stays rather solid and it just kind of drops to the bottom. And this little droplet did not come with this. So I'm about to make a mess. Uh, we're just gonna dump this into there. That'll work. Okay. You don't want this getting on your skin at all. Avoid that. I'm gonna cap this up. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good shake. Because I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're little, little balls just kind of... Let's see if we can capture them. Where'd they go? Oh, they're sitting at the bottom there. You see that? It's kind of funky. Okay, they're diminishing by shaking. 
Okay, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and continue the shake. Get this BT all broken up, the other ingredients all diluted within our water here. Make sure we don't have any chunks. It looks pretty broken up. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be watering our plants normally. So I got this red cup here just so I don't overwater the plants. We were probably gonna be going with two cups of water per plant. Like I said, these plants have not received um, anything since we've transplanted. Their soil's just been drying out to kind of tone down on the reproduction of fungus gnats. Go ahead and just pour some into our cup here. I know it's off camera, you guys can't see what's going on. But we just got this cup filled. So we're just gonna go ahead and lightly feed our train wreck here. Now I would be doing this with my nutrient solution, um, but we just brewed up some root assist brew bags from Skunk Labs Horticulture, and that requires a 48, 48 hour process of brewing. So we're not gonna be ready to feed our plants for another two days. Um, so since the soil is so dry, I did wanna get in here and hit them with some water, but not only hit them with some water, but eliminate our fungus gnat problem at the same time. Now the soil we're using is Universal Blend by Green Future, Future Green. Um, excuse me for butchering that. I do have a picture of it on my Instagram. Go ahead and follow me at Grow420Guide to see exactly what type of soil I'm using. Um, and it is an organic soil. Now it costs about $11 per bag and it's mixed up here in Humboldt and I do believe that that's where my problem started from. Now I'm not saying it's a bad thing because in soil, I mean it's an organic soil, so for fungus gnats to thrive in, they need organic soil matter and water for reproduction for a breeding ground and to thrive in. So it kind of creates the perfect storm for fungus gnats. Plus humidity is rather high up here in Northern California. Um, about 50% all the time, like that's average. It does bump up to like 80 to 100% on rainy days, and generally, moisture is held a lot longer up here. So that's where I'm getting this problem with my fungus gnats is I'm overwatering my plants and I'm not compensating um, basically for the humidity and allowing them to dry out completely before I rewatered again. That was a problem we were having in our Dixie cups like what I'm watering with now. And um, so we got them transplanted into five gallon pots. The plants are looking good. They've dried out. So we're getting this microbe lift into their, their soil now to eliminate all of the larvae within the soil. We're gonna be adding these sticky traps um, as soon as we're done watering here. And what those sticky traps will do for us is it's gonna allow us to monitor population. Now what I mean by that is you can't really see what's going on underneath your soil and the insects are rather small so they are attracted to the color yellow and the mature fungus gnats will actually fly and stick to these these traps and you'll be able to like get a read on how many fungus gnats you've caught in a week and be able to, to basically guide yourself uh, on your population of fungus gnats. So that's the whole reason to the sticky traps. The sticky traps are not gonna eliminate your fungus gnats, um, the larvae within your soil. So you're gonna want to have um, basically a two-step process. You can either use diatomaceous earth, which is very microscopically sharp. Um, to the touch, it's not. But to insects, it will literally pierce through them and it will kill them. They're not able to fly through this diatomaceous earth. So you can line your soil with that, or you can go ahead and feed um, mosquito bits, not feed mosquito bits, you can use the granule mosquito bits, crunch them up, put them on topsoil of your plants. That will also eliminate your fungus gnat larvae. But um, the people at the hydroponics store, a customer um, who seemed like he had an extensive amount of grow knowledge, and also the guy behind the counter, um, we came to the conclusion that the microbe lift would be the best case scenario for eliminating the fungus gnat problem. Now on the microbe lift container itself, um, 
it says quickly controls mosquito larvae within 24 hours and the customer like vouched for that and basically said it's true like this is like your cure-all for fungus gnats um, now we're gonna want to stay on top of this now after the two weeks have basically expired this is going to begin our two-week process for the first two weeks we are going to be using um, I'm running out of water here for the first two weeks we are going to be running six drops per gallon of water and after the the two weeks have expired we're going to be using two drops per gallon on our regular feeding days and our nutrient feeding days just to ensure that we do not have this problem again because it is going to be a reoccurring problem it's not just going to go away the humidity levels aren't going to change um, and the climate up in Humboldt's not going to change so this is going to be an ongoing pest battle so we have to make sure that we are on top of it alright so that is all the water we have right now we'll go ahead and fill this up and get our back two plants fed off camera um, but for the time being let's go ahead and open up our sticky traps here take a gander so you can see all the sticky residue that's gonna catch your fly or should I say your fungus gnat in this situation you can use these for white flies I assume too um, so what we're gonna do what are we gonna do um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and cut strips like this actually actually let's cut this in half and then we're gonna kind of smear the residue all over because it's not in the corners oh man I just got some on my fingers that's not gonna be fun kinda get it all over the place well not all over the place you want it all over your sticky traps and then we're just gonna cut individual two square strips like so oh this is just gonna be a mess it's gonna suck we're going to go ahead and we're going to place these on top of our soil just like so. Oh, you guys can't see that. And what's going to happen is the fungus gnats are attracted to this yellow. As they fly down into the soil to lay their larvae, they're going to be attracted to that yellow. Boom! Stick to it. Done. I have a good feeling we're going to have a handle on this situation rather soon. Definitely within the allotted two weeks. And then we're just going to have to stay on top of it after that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut two more and then we're going to end the video because we're going to have to go ahead and finish the back two plants off camera all right and lastly we'll hit you green crack oh man i got some soil on that card that's no biggie whatever well with that being said oh geez that is going to end this video on how to control and how to eliminate fungus gnats so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And as always, OG, smash that subscribe button so you ain't missing out on any Season 6 continued vlogs or how-tos, tutorials, smoke sessions, whatever we feel like uploading. Um, but with that being said, OGs, I will see you guys back here within a day or so. We are going to be low-stress training and topping for our next video. Peace out, OGs. I'll see you then.